Hey guys, today we're going to be discussing about Layout LMV3, the latest document AI. Document AI is about parsing out information from a large amount of documents. This can be done in a very automated way and there have been solutions using RN and CNN based architectures. However, transformers have creeped into it and is completely dominating the benchmark. Now what is a Layout LMV3? It's essentially a multimodal transformer that can process images and text and extract information from documents. According to the author, this is similar to the earlier versions. Now, I am not familiar with the earlier versions, so I cannot really comment too much about it. This is a 12 layer transformer with these dimensions and these parameters for images. They also have a 24 layer version as well. Now, according to the authors, they also said the biggest difference between this architecture and previous is that this is much faster because of its image processing and how fast it is compared to the other versions. This, of course, uses a typical VIT style image patching to train the model. Now they of course trained with a lot of images and text pairs and they did this with three main objectives. One, mass language modeling, which is simply masking text and trying to predict it. Masked image modeling, which is just like mass language modeling but with images. And then we have something slightly newer, which is called a word patch alignment. Now word patch alignment is about finding the alignment of image and text correctly. This is essentially a binary classification problem where they teach the model to find the connection of image to text. This is done by assigning a label to masked image and masked text pairs to see if they can predict that using binary cross entropy loss. Now, when reading the paper, it was actually quite unintuitive for me. So if I have missed any details, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now, as you see from the results, the word patch alignment marginally increases the performance of the model when pre-training. Now, just using mask image modeling and mask language modeling seems to do majority of the heavy lifting. So if we actually need the extra pre-training step is questionable, to be honest. But anyhow, now they benchmarked this on various data sets. And so far, it seems quite promising as it's pretty much exceeding on majority of the tasks in the data sets. Now, of course, if they will work in real life scenarios, equally as good, if not better, is a different question. But so far, it seems quite promising. I will leave a link in the description for the fine tuning of this model and also the pre-trained weights. So this, is, this should be quite easy to do and I will not go through that in this video because of time. But also, it is adapted on the Hugging Face API, so it should be quite straightforward to fine tune the model. All right, guys, that is layout LMV3 in under, under two to three minutes. So. I'm sorry if I sounded completely dead and monotonous throughout the entire video, but I tried to keep as much information as possible and condense them in a couple of minutes. So I really hope you guys found it useful. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you guys later. Bye.